So welcome back everyone, Triple M here with another quick video. Today we're talking about the new NVIDIA Shield uh, remote control. Now yesterday I released my official first impression and overview of the new 2019 Shield and a lot of the questions came was about this new remote controller. Will this be available for purchase by itself? Will this work on the old NVIDIA Shield, the 2017 model? And also, can you please get more in depth of how the loss function works or the paging function when you accidentally lose this remote? So in this video, we're gonna cover all that. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, drop your comments and questions in the comment section below. So before we jump into the question, first, I wanna give you guys a good overview of this new remote. So here's the 2017 remote versus the new one, a little bit taller, the design, triangular design. A lot of people are um, not happy about that. I'm indifferent. I do like how I feel in my hands, but I do feel like it's awkward when you sit it down. But this is something I can get used to. Um, this also uses two AAA batteries. This uses uh, the watch batteries, which are harder to find. And a big complaint from the 2017 remote is that the volume slider is right here. So it's a touch volume slider. And what happens is when you're watching TV or when you're watching your show, you will accidentally hit this and it will go ahead and adjust your volume. So that was a couple of the big uh, complaints. So the new remote seemed to address all of those issues. They did put buttons for everything, so you do have the volume controls right here. They also have the Netflix button, rewind, pause, play, uh, fast forward, back, home. They do have the navigation around here, select in the middle, power button, and they do have uh, the menu right here. In the middle, we do have the microphone right there. So uh, they addressed that concern, put buttons everywhere. Not too many buttons, just um, the right amount in my opinion. So I actually like that upgrade. So the other thing that I love about this remote is the actual LED in the background. So let me go ahead and just kill these lights and show you guys the LEDs. Now the LED, you can control how long it stays on in the actual shield itself. And I'll show you guys that in a little bit, but it does have an accelerometer when you go ahead and move it. They go ahead and turn back on and you can see how good that looks. Also, when you do the paging, the lights will come on. So you will hear a beep and the lights will also come on just in case you can um, spot it or see it before you actually hear it. So good additions in my opinion. The other thing is, how do I go ahead and pair this remote on my new shield? And also, when will it be available? NVIDIA is not stupid. At some point, they're gonna go ahead and release this as a standalone where you can purchase it by itself. So stay tuned for that. I'll be on the lookout. I'll put links uh, as soon as they come up. I'll attach them to this video, guys. As far as pairing it to your shield, it's really easy. So to get this into pair mode, you have two options. So if it's paired to another device already, all you need to do is hold down the back button and the home button. Once you see the LEDs flash in, that means it's in pairing mode. So let me kill one of the lights and I'm gonna hold down both buttons. The lights will come on and you can see it's essentially in pairing mode. So if it's not connected to a device, all you need to do is hold the center button right here, guys, and it's gonna do the same thing. So let me go ahead and do that to the side. Should automatically detect it on this shield. This is the 2017 model. All right, so we'll start flashing automatically detects that there's a new remote available and it automatically pairs. So now we're actually all connected guys. So there we go. We can use the Google voice assistant. What are the NBA scores? Yesterday, the Hornets lost to the Clippers 111 to 96. For right. other games, try so the home button works. Let's go into our apps and we just hit the back button. Back button works. Volume works. Volume up, volume down. Netflix, that button works as well. So everything seems to work um, perfectly, guys. And within the software itself, it should have that Find My Shield. So the good thing about the 2017 model is that you do have uh, USB ports on the back. So if you lose this remote controller, you can go ahead and go into the settings with a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, and you can go down to your Shield accessories. Uh, we're gonna go to controller two, which I think this one is. And where it says Find This Remote, you can go ahead and click on it. You can see it is making a noise and it also uh, does light up the buttons on it. And just press any button to go ahead and cancel it. So obviously for the new NVIDIA Shield, you don't have a USB option. So what happens if you actually lose the remote to this Shield? So 
What I failed to demonstrate in my initial video, guys, is that this button right here, really hard to see, that's actually a paging button. So let's go ahead, we're gonna get the power connected to it, uh, pair the remote again, and just show you that that button also works. So I do have the 2019 Shield hooked up, guys, and one of my biggest gripes is that you do have inputs and plugins on both sides, and it's actually a mess once you have it hooked up. It just looks really, really bad in my opinion. So with the Ethernet cable connector, you can see you kind of have wires going everywhere. And um, the only good place for this, in my opinion, is behind the monitor somewhere where you can't actually see it. So I got the remote connected, and it is bound, as you can see. And uh, the button right here hard to see right there but I'm gonna go ahead and press it while holding this and there we go all right so also another thing is that you do have the option to adjust the brightness so if you go to shield accessories again gonna go down to your accessories click on the remote and there it is, the backlight setting. So if you click on that, guys, let me kill this light a little bit. All right, so you do have the option. It is set all the way up right now. All right, so let's turn all the way down. Turn all the way up. That's how bright it gets. You also do have the duration setting, so that's how long this light's gonna um, stay on until it kind of goes away. So right now it's set to uh, three seconds wakes up but you do have the option to set it to more seconds or whatever the case is so that's it for this video hopefully this answered all the questions about the new shield remote uh, question one can you pair it with the old shield answer is yes question two how do you do the loss function or the pager function on the shield uh, especially um, the new shield that doesn't have a usb port so we kind of answer that as well we also cover just some of the basics and the differences between the old remote and the new one so if you guys have any questions about this drop it in the comment section below as always hit a thumbs up on this video share this video if you think it might help someone else thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one